You see this broken hip and valley? There's double step rafters that go in here and I want to calculate them. This is the second way to do it. I want them to all be in layout with this run here. So when we go to sheet it, it's no problem. You see how this hip is off the corner 12 inches because there's a 12 inch bump out here. But this face is the same. What we usually do is we pull from this plane here 22 and a half inches and go. Because that's the length of a block, 22 and a half inch if you're 24 center, 14 and a half if you're 16 center. In this case, we're 24 center. So 22 and a half inches to the long point of that block minus the 12 inches gives us the first layout and we would go from there. All these ceiling joists are already set up. We go to the other side of the, the jack. Drive a couple nails or do it on the plans, which is the best way. Go all the way over here and mark the close side of the last rafter in this run before you get to the double steps. Measure from the close side to where this valley will run through the wall on this side here measure to it in this case it's nine inches so i take 24 inches minus nine inches and the difference i multiply it by the hip valley secant and i start stepping up the actual valley with marks on the rack when i got to the top my short point which was the side on this side was eight and a half inches to the center line of ridge. So I went eight and a half and eight and a half and divided it by the hip valley line length and that gave me the level dimension, multiplied it by the common rafter line length and that gave me the first jack. And I added, in this case, it's a 512 pitch roof. So I added the 52 inch common difference for a double step to that. Another 52 inch common difference to double step to that and brought me up in here. We got all these squared away without leaving the rack.